What's up, O-Doers? Welcome back. Today, we're back at it again talking about VoIP or voice over internet protocol if you want to be verbose. One of the key benefits of VoIP is that it allows your team to use a variety of different devices from phones, computers, tablets, and more. Any of these devices can make and receive calls directly within the Odoo database. This flexibility is crucial for companies like Stealthy Wood as it empowers our teams to communicate effectively regardless of their location or preferred device. Here at Stealthy Wood, we want to give our teams flexibility to work their way, so giving them these tech options is really important. To do that, we use Odoo VoIP, which is also SIP compatible to unlock the chosen device's freedom. I also got a call out that this SIP compatibility on apps is a requirement to have Odoo VoIP work on it. So today, we're going to explore how to set up VoIP on different devices and how to integrate it with other tools. Stealthy Wood uses Axivox as the VoIP service provider, so your screen might look a little different if you have another provider. But with that out of the way, let's jump into our database. All right, first things first, let's take a look at Odoo VoIP on a desktop. Don't worry, we're going to get to the mobile app and other applications in just a second. But once you've connected your VoIP service provider to your Odoo database, you will see this little phone icon here in the top right of your screen. And when we click that small icon, a VoIP widget will pop up so you can make a call. Now, if you don't see this little icon in the top right of your screen, just make sure your service provider is hooked up to Odoo. And of course, I've linked the video on how to set up that connection down below. But back to this widget here. When I open it up, I can see my next activities and a list of all the calls that I need to make. And if I click this phone icon here at the bottom, it's going to call the first contact we have on this list. But I'm going to click back, not looking to talk to ReadyMap just yet. And when I click back, the widget returns us to this main menu right here. Now, if I have someone specific that I need to call, I can always access our contacts tab here and even look them up. For example, I miss our good old friend Paul Smith, so let's go ahead and look him up. Great to see he's still in our contacts. I'll give him a call later just to catch up. But let's say I have someone who's not in my contacts that I need to give a call. You can always click this keyboard button right here, and it'll pull a number keyboard up where I can just dial a number and make that call. And if I want to get back to my main screen, I can just click this keyboard once again, and it'll return us to where we started. But that's the desktop widget. Now let's take a look at the mobile version. So some folks on the Stealthywood sales team use their Odoo mobile app on their smartphone so they can make calls on the go. Thankfully, the VoIP widget functions identical to the desktop version. The only difference is that you'll be asked whether you want to use your VoIP or your device's phone to make your calls if your device is compatible. Odoo will also prompt you to use your device's microphone for calls, which is pretty straightforward, right? So let's move on to our first tool, Linphone. Linphone is a VoIP tool just like the VoIP widget in Odoo. Some of our Stealthywood partner managers prefer this app, so let's go through setting it up for them. To get started with this, new partner managers will want to download the Linphone app from their device's app store. Once it's downloaded, we'll open up the app, and when the partner managers do, they'll be asked to either create an account or use one that they already have set up. And we're in luck. Since Stealthy Wood has Axivox, we can just tap Use SIP Account. And when we do, we'll see the SIP identifiers that we can find in our Axivox account. If you aren't sure how to get these, check out our videos on Axivox, which I've linked down below. Also, here's a quick helpful tip. If you also use Axivox, then you're going to want to choose UDP as your transport option. It's one of three ways Linphone can move data between your device and the other person on the phone. And once we're all set up, using Linphone works really similar to the Odoo VoIP widget. So that's it for Linphone, but let's go through Zapier Lite as well. So just like Linphone, Zapier Lite is another VoIP tool. Some folks on the RevOps team are taking a look at this tool, so let's walk through it. And getting it set up will feel very similar to setting up the SIP account in Linphone. To get started, we'll just open up the app once it's downloaded. And let's go ahead and tap that settings button at the bottom of our screen. Then we'll tap the accounts option at the top of our screen and tap the plus icon at the top of the screen. So Zopier is asking if we have an account already. 
they're referring to an SIP account here. And since we have our Axivox account, we can go ahead and tap yes. Since Zopier doesn't yet offer direct integration with Axivox, we'll select manual configuration and then tap SIP account. And from here, we'll enter in our Axivox account identifiers and then tap register. We're good to go when we see the registration status OK message at the top of the screen. From here, Zoiper Lite is going to work and feel very similar to the Odoo VoIP widget. But like I said, we like to give our employees options over here at Stealthy Wood. So that covers Zoiper Lite and Linphone, just two of many VoIP calling options. Just remember, only the Odoo VoIP widget has that direct integration with the other Odoo app. If you want to check out how our sales and support teams use VoIP, check out the videos I've linked down below. But until then, I'll catch you next time.